Okay. All righty, all righty. Hello, everybody. Okay. Now I need everybody to just bear with me. I'm live on Trinisha Biggers um, page today. My name is Francesca Amato. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know who I am, um, I'm going to start this out a little bit slow because I do have um, I do have some issues going on right now uh, where uh, I want to be able to, to tag all the people, uh, the list of names that Trinisha has given to me in order to give you guys this story. Um, I have not wanted to give out this story uh, since this happened until now. And so it's going to be very important that everybody shares this story far and wide. Please share this story uh, far and wide. Very important. I'm going to discuss what happened on um, what happened on September the uh, 9th. I'm sorry, excuse me, October the 9th, October the 9th. But while I'm doing this, I'm going to just tag people right now uh, on my own personal page. And again, anybody that doesn't know me, my name is Francesca Amato. I am the founder of uh, Punish for Protecting Incorporated. I'm a national advocate. I'm an advocate for Trinisha Biggers and her daughters. Um, so please just kind of forgive the, um, the way this has been put together today. Uh, I am in. I am on her profile. Um, uh, we are working with her. Um, we want to break the story. We want to be the first to break the story. So we've held the story back since it occurred uh, so that the story is not given by the media uh, in a false light. We want to be able to give you facts today. We want to be able to show you what has actually happened. And we're requesting that the public right now, uh, all the WWE wrestlers that I have gotten a hold of, that have been tagged uh, to this post below. Um, I'm going to tag you now. And if anybody knows of any, we're tagging them now. Uh, or if any, anyone that's watching right now can tag because this is an urgent story. Uh, children's lives are in danger right now. And a mother is in a very, 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 very bad uh, situation in which I'm going to go over it with you. I'm waiting on a co-advocate right now to hopefully uh, be able to get on here with us. Um, we were going to have Remigio Romero, who is one of them, um, known as the Canadian tenors. He is a tenor, um, also very famous, and uh, he was going to be able to come on and he was going to advocate along with us and sing today, uh, but he's having technical difficulties. So we've had a lot of things come against trying to get this message out, um, but we are here now. We are here now, and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be able to share what has happened with Trinisha Biggers. Um, what is going on with her right now, what we're doing to help the situation, uh, and how important it is um, that the public understands the true story. Um, one of the things that I do as an advocate is, and it, and it can be, don't get me wrong, it can be very difficult at times, um, one of the things that um, I do as an advocate is um, I find out what's really going on. As an advocate, we want to know the truth of what's happening. Those of you that are watching right now, you may not have any idea, since I'm on Trinisha's page and not my own, you may not have any idea, idea um, you know, exactly what uh, uh, happens within the family court system. Um, I am a, a national advocate. I also have specialty in ADA, which is um, uh, American Disability Act. Um, and uh, I'm here today because um, Trinisha asked me to sign into her account so that I can tell her story. I have written a book. It became a bestseller last year two times. And the name of that book is Punished for protecting, punish for protecting the injustice system of family court, the injustice system of family court. I really need this video right now, if you guys could please. Uh, I'm shadow banned on my Facebook profiles for the things that I expose, and normally I get a lot of views. We're looking at only 11. I don't know if that's even true because Facebook has been doing a lot of shadow banning. Um, but I do need all of you that are watching right now. I'm going to actually start to tag. I do need you guys to kindly, kindly invite your friends list because I have to give this breaking news and we're doing it in such a way we held back from doing it so that the media wouldn't pick up the story and lie and put a spin on it. I am going to show actual documentation of Miss Bigger's custody of her children, which means that the court granted her custody of her children. I'm going to talk about today, I'm going to speak on the, um, the what has happened to Miss Biggers. If you don't know who she is, if you don't know what has happened to her, I'm going to, um, I'm going to speak on that today too. 
I'm going to show you some photographs, which I do not believe are for the eyes of children. I'm going to talk about um, what happened to her, and I'm going to correlate it with my organization, uh, um, Punished for Protecting the Injustice System of Family Court. My book became a bestseller because of the amazing, uh, the over-the-top things that happened, and Miss Bigger's story is even, is on, mine on steroids, if that makes any sense. So what has happened is, um, with Miss Biggers is, she has been arrested on September the 9th, she has been arrested on September the 9th, and she is in the Riverhead Correctional Facility. We are hoping that she will be taken out today. Alicia, I see you on, and I sent you a link to get into the Zoom so you can come into this and speak with us as well. I do need everybody that is watching to please share this so I can tell this story with evidence of what they've done and how they violated Miss Figger's rights. Uh, I know that there's there's been some media out there that has claimed that Miss Figures is a fugitive or was a fugitive. That is insanity, pure insanity. Um, with my book, Punished for Protecting the Injustice System of Family Court, one of the things that they had said about me and my son were that we were missing, and they literally put us on a missing persons when we were never missing. Matter of fact, we had a court date signed by the judge. Uh, because I requested it through a, through a very expensive law firm. Um, these are the things that they do. Um, and so Miss Bigger's case is just that she is so high profile and she is so well known being a WWE wrestler um, and who she is uh, that I am actually, I'm not happy with what has happened to her or her children, but I am um, happy to say that this should be able to, to take on a life of its own, so to speak. This should be able to expose the stories of what is happening within our country. Now, again, those of you that don't know me, uh, our groups and our advocates have done amazing work in the past um, short period of time, actually, where we've had major breakthroughs that are not only exposing the family court as a child trafficking industry, and again, I know I'm talking to a little different audience that I normally speak with, um, but I would really hope that you guys would uh, get acquainted with our work, uh, Punished for Being a Parent.com, and see where we spoke on September 9th before Congress in a congressional hearing room where we exposed the, uh, the, the, the sort of like the chain of command, how children are being trafficked and the way they're being trafficked starts with the family court and works its way through the system. This is where you're hearing a lot, a lot of people are hearing about CPS, Child Protective Services, in which I coined the phrase Child Predator Services. Um, and when you hear Ms. Bigger's story today, please spread this, guys. I know that I'm being shadow banned. I know that there's some stuff going on. I normally have thousands of views on my main page. People are not even noticing my posts for the past four to five days because we have exposed what is happening in the family court arena. I don't know if people know that there has been, and it's been, in fact, um, verified 2100 children found in a bunker in california there's a lot going on and so when we give the story regarding miss figures we want america to know the true story this is a mother that was literally beaten to unconscious she was beaten to unconscious and uh in front of her children um and if alicia could come on um she can tell more because alicia is an assistant of mine and down uh in the in the police station i'm sorry in the uh, correctional facility alicia was able to speak to miss biggers face to face because i was not able to get down there um i actually was in a tv interview yesterday so i was unable to go um but but thankfully alicia did go and speak with miss biggers um i have been speaking with uh, Trinisha. Uh, Biggers for several months now, um, and uh, we have been trying to figure this out. We did not see a warrant. Um, I do. I did, in fact, see. Um, I did, in fact, see a, a protection order, which let me show you guys right now. We can start with that. But I really, really need um, people to. I see you on. I'm going to bring you in. I really need people to uh, absolutely. Um, I need people to absolutely um, um, share, 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 share. We have to get the word out of what happened to Miss Biggers and, and how they arrested this woman while she was in a domestic violence shelter. This uh, Miss Biggers was protected by a protected order. Miss Biggers' children are on the protection order. Um, as you can see here, Miss Biggers' children on the protection order. This is not just, if you can see, there's a minor child's name 
okay? You can see the date is September 2019. It is now only October, and on October 9th, she was arrested. There are laws for this. There are laws um, protecting Miss Biggers and protecting her. Um, uh, make sure you open your voice, Alicia, your sound. There are, uh, there are protections. And so as you see here, it says Ephraim Sims, who's the respondent. We're going to show you photographs. Child is Zion Sims. And actually, he cannot go near both of her children, both of her children. Um, he's not allowed to go anywhere near 100 yards near the children. And yet he has the child, I'm sorry, his own child, Zion Sims. And she was born in 2016. Now there's a lot to the story. And hopefully if I can, I'm going to just drop the screen share for a moment. I will also show the custody order that shows that the both children are in Miss Bigger's custody, or they were in her custody, ordered by a judge. So these judges now are defying their own paperwork. And there's so much more to this particular story because the original judge is Yahara Gutierrez. I've done an entire TV version story on that. And uh, I I and um, I have Alicia in here. I just, I'm trying to figure out how to get her sound open. Um, you have to hit join audio so we can have hear you talk, Alicia. Um, and unmute yourself. Um, so uh, with, with this woman, uh, Gutera, um, uh, Gutera, uh, I'm sorry, Yahara is from, um, from Texas, um, San Antonio, Texas. I have dealt with numerous, numerous, mostly mothers, uh, mostly mothers who she has literally jailed them and taken her, their children as soon as evidence because we're against false allegations. Our, our, our nonprofit does not uh, work kindly with people who make false allegations about others. Um, but this is, I've also spoke with parole, by the way. So everything is verified. Everything I have is verified. And she, uh, Ms., uh, you know, Judge, Judge Yohara Gutierrez has literally, I know so many mothers, innocent mothers with clean backgrounds who, um, who have had their, um, their children uh, uh, take, taking, literally stripped from them and placed with an abuser, a person with an abusive uh, um, background uh, with a, like in this particular case, you've got a criminal protection order uh, for Miss Biggers and for the child. And yet you have the child, the two children, there's two children, two different fathers, but the ch child with the one particular father where there's a protection order standing. Um, so let's uh hang on a minute i want to get the just have to figure out how to do this i want to get the um the different people that uh miss biggers asked me to uh, uh get on this live so that you can be aware of what's happening we are very concerned she is in the riverhead correctional facility uh, it is a very dangerous facility a very dangerous facility uh those of you that are part of the wwe um, we need you, we need you, we need you uh, to, to, um, we need you to, 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 let's get this out there. Let's get this message out there um, as much as possible um, and get the word out so that, um, so that we can help Miss Biggers and, um, and we can help her children. Um, and, but also to get the word out because this is what's happening in our country. This has been happening for five decades. Alicia, if you try to get back in, I um, opened up your, your video, but you need to open up through your phone, your own sound. You need to open up your own sound, okay? Um, so if for anyone that's just joining, I am Francesca Amato. I am the founder of Punish for Protecting Incorporated. It's a nonprofit. Um, I'm telling the breaking story about Trenisha Biggers, uh, right now currently being held at Riverhead Correctional Facility. Um, the, all the things that you may see about Ms. Biggers is a complete lie. She was not a uh, fugitive. She is placed with murderers in, in the same prison. It is insane. This is a protective mother. I just showed you, and I will be happy to show again, uh, the, the protection order in favor of Ms. Biggers. Ms. Biggers was beaten to unrecognizable. I'm going to show some video. I'm going to show some photographs pretty soon. If anybody doesn't know Ms. Biggers, and it's something I want to clarify and make very, uh, I want to clarify this. I want the, I want the people that are watching. I want you to understand that this is a woman who was an eight hundred thousand dollar a year woman. Okay, um, and she had the world, you know, in her hands. And um, she didn't want to go live in a, a domestic violence shelter as her goal in life. 
Okay, and this is what happens with true victims of abuse. We see this all the time through these fraudulent family courts where they abuse a victim. We call it re-victimization. This is happening all over the country. This is happening to mothers and fathers all over the country. So we are making an appeal to the W, the Worldwide WWE. Uh, those of you, she has given me lists of your names. I tagged uh, you to the fact that I was going live today. Um, uh, we did not want to reveal the story just yet. She was arrested on October 9th in a domestic violence shelter. Now they have to understand something. Within a domestic violence shelter, she had to go through a bunch of a, a different bunch of uh, protocol to get in the door, proving that she's a victim, proving she had a protection order for her and her children. Um, you know, proving she had custody. And the next thing she knows, she finds herself in handcuffs being hauled away as if she's some kind of, as if she's the criminal, okay? This is something that we as Americans shall not allow to happen. And it happened in the state of New York, okay? Now, Ms. Biggers lives in Texas, normally, San Antonio, Texas. Uh, whereby a judge by the name of Yahara Guterres, I deal with her victims all the time. There has been appeals made against this judge for doing this thing. She has a pattern of abuse to mothers and children specifically. And I know the victims personally because they're victims that come to me. And that's how I actually met Trinisha through the victims. They were all victims of Judge Yahara Guterres. When Yuhara finds out that there is physically physical abuse in a, in, a, in a family, she takes the children from the protective mother, usually in that case, and gives them with the father and places these mothers in jail. I have case after case after case after case of her doing this to, to families. She's not the only judge in the country that does something this absurd, and this is absurd. Now, to blow it up out of over the top where this has been brought as Miss Vigors was a considered a fugitive, and she's now placed in, in uh, Riverhead Correctional Facility facility in Long Island, New York, which is highly dangerous. She's among murderers. Okay. This woman does not belong there. Um, and her children now, which she's devastated and highly concerned about her children currently are in danger um, because the one father, she, as I showed you, and I will show it again, had a protection order against him, uh, which was just issued September. It is, she was arrested on October 9th. It was issued in September. Generally protection orders go 60 days. I'm sorry. Um, six months. And on that protection order, um, uh, it said that he was to stay away from her and away from the child. This child witnessed rape. This child witnessed the mother being beaten to unconscious. Now let's talk about Miss Biggers for a minute. Miss Biggers is a WWE wrestler. She's in massive shape. She was making $800,000 per year. Her goal was not to live in a domestic violence shelter and have no money, okay, and hide with her children. Okay, this is not a false allegation. She did not allow this situation to overtake her life like this um, uh, for, for, for some sort of a game. And someone being in this type of shape, you know, um, and then being beat to this point, or she was disfigured, her, her model, she's a model, her face uh, was disfigured, which I will show you shortly, the pictures. And um, as I did also show you, and I will show you again, the protective order uh, the protective order, which let me sh screen share this again, excuse me. And while I'm screen sharing this, um, I just want to remind everybody, if you don't know who I am already, please share this far and wide. I am uh, Francesca Amato. I am punished for protecting, uh, punished for protecting, which is precisely what has happened to Miss Biggers, punished for protecting. And I am a best-selling author of the book, Punished for Protecting, the true story of what happened to my son and myself, which thank God we are out of that mess. And that happened to me because I'm a whistleblower. Um, and um, Miss Bigger's story is actually my story on steroids. I was, my son and I were put on a missing persons when we weren't missing. Now let's talk about over the top when we had a court date that I requested and a very expensive paid attorney. Um, so, so lo and behold, Miss Biggers, here you are, Trenisha Biggers petitioner, Ephraim Sims respondent. Uh, you can see right here, 2019, September, and by October 9th, she was arrested, considered a fugitive for protecting her children within a domestic violence shelter. Think about it again, my friends. In a domestic violence shelter, she had to go through an entire protocol to get there, to get inside. Emotional, emotional and verbal abuse in the past, yet physically and sexually attacked me. Um, I'm going to read some more of her notes here. Uh, it's also important to know that Ms. Figures was in, in college in uh, University of Florida, where was she? Where she is a professional athlete as well. Here's the two children, Zion Sims and uh, Melania Flowers, and they're not supposed to be within 100 feet of Mr. Sims, and yet right now they're placed in his care. Well, the child that is his is placed in his care, and the other child's father, 
um, was not, um, is, is, is uh, association and photographs with him and the children, both children together, and Mr. S uh, Sims is not allowed to be near them. I spoke with Mr. Sims parole, and this has all been verified. So I am Trenisha Biggers, uh, uh, exclusive advocate to this, and my team uh, who have been visiting her in, in the jail uh, in the prison, excuse me, in the prison. This is heartbreaking. And this is not the first time that I've seen this type of insanity. And you can see the children, child's name clearly on the order, clearly on the order, okay? And it says respondent shall not go within a hundred yards. How does a, a, a court order such things like this? And at the same time, order something like this and then take a mother from for protecting her child from a, um, from a domestic violence shelter and put her in prison and then take the children and place them right into harm's way. Where does this make any sense? Where does this make any sense? This is the barbaric treatment that we get within the family court arena. I deal with mothers and fathers all over the country for years that have been utterly abused by a court system. There is no remedy, there is no protection. It doesn't matter what color you are, how much money you are, how, how much money you have, your, 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 your political party. None of that makes a difference within this uh, fraudulent family court system. Now, um, I'm trying to see if I can get um, Alicia, who is in, to speak up. I don't know if you can, you'd have to hit your sound. It says you are still sitting in the queue. And I did move you over and I tried to turn on your, uh, it says you have video, but you don't have sound. So I'd like for her to be able to speak a little bit on behalf of this. I have reached out to almost all the WWE wrestlers on this page. I've spoken to uh, different, I've spoken to different people, which I won't give names out on here, of course, um, but I've spoken to different people tied in with, um, with the wrestling and also with other celebrities and so on and so forth. Um, and hopefully we're going to be making this uh, just blow up because this message needs to get out there. This message needs to get out there. I told, uh, I told Trinisha, it is urgently important that this message gets out there for the world to understand that her, her, her uh, sacrifice here, her being further abused uh, is not in vain, is not in vain. Um, you know, that this is going to be used for good, um, especially since this is happening to so many women and men all across our, our, our country. And what's happening is that our, our children in our nation are utterly being destroyed. Our children in our nation, and let it be a message to everybody. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you are. I don't care who you are. They are a, they, they're, this system, this quote unquote family court system is an equal opportunity abusive system. And it always has been. It always has been. And we have discovered that it is tied directly to the child trafficking industry. Once they can put your children in an abusive home, then they can get them off into CPS. From CPS, they get them off into foster care and from foster care right into child trafficking. So this is what's happening. I'm really sad to see the numbers so low on this right now. I know that I've been shadow banned. I would hope that some of you would be inviting your friends list. I would believe that you guys are, but Facebook is doing a number lately since we've been exposing the child trafficking industry. Um, but I, I'm putting this message out here. I'm having a hard time getting Alicia on here. Um, I think she's saying something here. Hold on, Let's see if I can read it. No, um, but I do need you to come on here if you can try to hook up your sound. And I'm going to share what I want to do here is I want to share some photographs of Trinisha. And just bear with me on this as I try to try to share. Um, I'm on two devices right now, so. I'm on two devices, so just kind of bear with me. So I would like to be able to share some of these photographs of Trinisha that I have. Okay, now let's see here. Um, it says my video paused on mobile screening. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. Hopefully you can still hear me. I'm not really sure why it would pause my video. But let's move on up to forgive some of the photographs and you're in my you're actually in my photo album. Uh, let's move this on up. Here we go. So we'll start showing. So here's the photographs that I have. Here's Trenisha Biggers. OK, and um, here she is. She's also an advocate against domestic violence. And here she is. 
WWE wrestler, mother, and advocate, Janisha Biggers. And now we're going to get to um, so some more photographs of her. Here's where she was beaten to unconscious. Here's where she was beaten to unconscious right in front of her children, which is why the protection order was placed. I'm going to go ahead and stop screen share. I'm going to go ahead and stop screen share and hopefully you can now rehear me again. I'm trying to get on Alicia. Um, uh, but this is what we need. I need this shared far and wide. I will share this. This will also premiere in about an hour on the YouTube channel, Punish the Number Four Protecting, Punish the Number Four Protecting. I'm really trying to get Alicia on here. Alicia, is there any possible way you can get on here or at least text me and I can tell them anything that I may have missed here? Oh, I can do another screen share here too that I see. Um, yeah, here's another screen share. Let me pull this one up too. Here's another photograph screen share. Here's another screen share. Let me show you this right here. I just had it. If you bear with me. Oh. Hold on a minute. Here we go. Here's the, the, another screen share. I know it's not that big, but this was also another one that was issued March of, of 2019. A no contact of condition of bond order. And here's where she was beaten, disfigured. Okay. You can see the swelling over here. You can see the eye. And then the no contact. Again, it's to Ephraim Sims. Okay. Just so you're aware, he has the child at this point in time. He has the child. Okay, so this is what I'm trying to explain when I did when I wrote my story punish for protecting the injustice system. It didn't matter how many times he was in jail. It didn't matter how many times he violated probation. It didn't matter how many times he came up positive for drugs. It didn't matter how many times he did the different things that he did. The court doesn't want to hear it. They don't care. It's not about that. We always thought it was the quote unquote best interest of the child. There's no such actual the first of all, that's just a broad, a broad um, phrase. And, um, and, and it means anything that they want, the court wants it to mean. Um, it's a broad phrase. And so therefore anything goes within the walls of these courts and these courts are a fraud. I'd like everybody that's watched this today to please get acquainted with our work, punishforbeingaparent.com. I believe there's gonna be a GoFundMe started very, very soon. Right now, we are hoping that today she may be released. We have a few things going on that are pending. Um, if that does not happen, we will be starting a GoFundMe. More li likely we will be starting it no matter what. And we are asking the public, we're asking the wrestlers, we're asking for your help right now to help get the funding that uh, she's going to need to save herself and above all, to save her two beautiful daughters. Uh, this is heartbreaking. If you have questions, feel free to ask. I will comment as much as I can. Um, I'm maxed out on friends on my page and I'm being shadow banned. So uh, because we have we have actually exposed the child trafficking industry. Uh, you can go to YouTube, punish the number four protecting. I'm going to be premiering this. I apologize for the way this looks right now. This is not the normal way this is done, but we had to get this message out to you. I wanna make it perfectly, perfectly clear that Miss Biggers had custody of her children by the court. She had a protection order to protect her and her child. She was in a domestic violence shelter. No woman that makes $800,000 a year is gonna to go to zero, okay? just to play a game with somebody. This is a fit, this is a true assault, you can see it. Uh, she's given up everything to protect her children and ended up with, that, with them not being protected. That's why I wrote the book, Punished for Protecting, because this is happening all over our country. It's happening, they're stealing children all over our country, all over the globe, as a matter of fact. And I, there's not a person that is watching this right now that is exempt from happening. You need to get the protections that you need uh, we have a lot of different things that we're doing right now as an organization that will protect families, and there's a deadline for that. Um, and also anybody that can help with Trenisha Bigger's case, we greatly appreciate it. Thank you for watching Punish for Protecting. Uh, this is a live Facebook broadcast that will re-air on YouTube within an hour. Um, and anybody that's willing to help, you can reach out to me at punished, the number four, beingaparent.com. Go to any contact form and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I apologize that my assistant could not be on today 
to answer any further questions. Um, but hopefully we'll be able to give you guys uh, an update as we go with this breaking story. And uh, like I said, I wanted this, I wanted to be, I wanted this to come out with the truth and not a lie. I wanted this to come out with the truth and not a lie. And just how the system is so, so vile, how the system is just harming families. I work with both fathers and mothers all over this country, and I cannot get over what the, what damages. They have de debilitated families all over this country. And church, you got to rise up and take, take your power back. Okay, 501c3s answering to them, getting paid through them, going through the foster care system. You got a lot of education, you know, a lot that you need to be educated about. Uh, how that's actually holding hands with the devil and not helping biological families, God ordained biological family. Please be, be aware, please understand this is a very serious problem going on and it's tied to child trafficking. You're going to see a lot more if you watch uh, my page, uh, go through the videos, go through the YouTube channel, you will understand more of what is actually happening in this country. And like I said, Miss Biggers, perfect example. Nobody's exempt. Doesn't matter if you're poor, doesn't matter if you're rich, doesn't matter if you're black, doesn't matter if you're white. Democrat, Republican, it does not matter. If you're a politician, it doesn't matter. If you're in law enforcement, these, these people all come to me for help because this system is so vile and so wicked. Thank you for watching.